French Defense, Tarash, Gamard, Main Line, 4, NF65.E5 and D76.NB3 of 5. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed Black in that one. The opening was balanced. White pounced on their opportunities in the middle game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. While preparing for d5, the French defense prevents the light squared bishop in favor of a strong center and opportunities for counterattacks. The center is fully controlled by d4 and the dark squared bishop is made available. The e4 pawn is threatened by the center counter-attack on d5. And d2 develops the knight and defends the e4 pawn. And c6 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the d4 pawn, but blocks the c pawn. And gf3 develops the knight toward the center, defends the d4 pawn and controls the e5 square. And f6 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the e4 pawn and defends the d5 pawn. E5 closes the center and attacks the knight on f6. And d7 retreats the attacked knight. And b3 places the knight on the queen side where it controls the c5 square and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. A5 gains space on the queen side and controls the b4 square. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is the last book move. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is quite good. By growing a queen from its beginning square, this activates the queen. That's good. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This misses a chance to concentrate a knight so that it can dominate more squares. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to make a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to advance a rook from its starting square. It is incorrect. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a much better move. It is a mistake. A very strong play. It is excellent. White had the advantage at first, but now they are in the lead. It is incorrect. Backs off. It is ideal. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. It is best. This misses a chance to trample a bishop. It is incorrect. Recaptures. It is ideal. This confines the opponent's king while also moving a rook to the seventh rank, activating it. It is quite good. This misses an opportunity to defend a bishop that was under attack. It is a mistake. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This ignores an opportunity to evade the check from the opposing rook. It is a miss. This misses the chance to offer an equitable exchange of pieces. It is incorrect. Among the best actions. It is quite good. That's an unfortunate error. It is a mistake. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. While not the greatest course of action, this is an intriguing alternative. That's good. Backs off. It is ideal. The rook is now on an open file which helps control squares across the board. It is quite good. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. A solid choice. It is excellent. That pawn was available for free. It is quite good. 
That is a logical response. It is quite good. This wins a bishop. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. White pounced on their opportunities in the middle game. 